I like to make my bezel wire. So I'm going to show you how to do that, how to alloy gold to 22 karat, which we're also going to use for one of the other projects. Now, there's nothing wrong with buying it, but if you make it and you have little pieces of scrap left over, the next time you make a batch, you can add those back in. And it saves a little bit of money in the long run because you're not sending your scraps in to be refined. And I'm just heating it on a charcoal block, a compressed charcoal block that has a little bit of a, a depression in it. And I need to stir that around just a little bit. Now, the little things floating on the top are the impurities coming to the surface. Once you see those, you're done. So I'm going to slow down a little bit. Once I get it mirror, I'm going to start at one corner and move over. There it goes. And now I'm going to fit it over the stone and it doesn't fit. It's too small, but I did that on purpose so I could show you a trick. And there's the impression on the bimetal. And once again, check to make sure that it will drop down in there from the top. Now, the first time it takes a minute to get rid of that shininess and see the colors come through. But once, there it is, you can see on the edges of the shank and on the rim where it turns yellow. And you can see how polishing the inside of that really makes the stone sparkle even more. If you find a place that you see some light coming through, it's not flat down to the sheet, when it's warm, you can very gently push down. And the shank will sit on the sheet really well, but be careful doing that. If you do it when it's too hot, if you do it when it's red hot, you'll collapse the whole ring. I'm burnishing it down for two reasons. One, this pushes it down just a little bit farther and gets out any wrinkles that I may have created with the bezel pusher. And two, it smooths it out rather than takes metal away. If I grind the bezel, I'm taking away gold. And I'm also thinning it out and making it possibly more vulnerable in the future as the piece wears. So now the ring is finished, all polished, stone set, and it clicks. <laughs>